Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. We are playing on my server and I have got a game mechanic to show you. Bam, hit the respawn and we land. What's this? On the floor, on the ground floor. What is that? Well, if we turn to the Minecraft wiki and we look up the spawning rules, it says when spawning, the player placed on the highest block matching the X and Z location that they have spawned at. Uh, even if this puts them above the world, blah, 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 blah. It's the highest, does this look like the highest block? Does it look like the highest block to you? It does not look like the highest block to me. So I have had to go through and make this here. Oh, incidentally, I've gone to the bug tracker. I've made sure it exists. It does exist. Seven other people care about it. Seven other people have made a vote about it, but that's it. And I don't think a bug with seven votes is going to get fixed. Anyway, we've got these command blocks here, and all these command blocks basically deal with this issue. Don't worry, this is not a command block uh, episode. We will be getting on with base finding and stuff like that. I just really needed to explain this to you guys first. So, the problem is that we spawn inside here. Okay, that is the problem. So the first thing that happens is this command block finds all the players that are inside this building and teleports them to the roof. Bam! That way we can filter them past all the rules, the adverts. Uh, we're going to put a jump pool down the bottom here so it's not like such a problem every time. Uh, and things like that. Okay, so when, when we get to the roof though... The player's going to have an issue, because if we just left it like that, they'd walk down here. Oh, teleported back to the roof. So we give these players a tag. Uh, can I... Uh, I? I need to do this. Uh, like, so this is the, the, the worst part about using uh, command blocks, is the fact that you have to go into creative. And I, I dislike it. I would like it with the wonderful permission system that uh, Minecraft has with Spigot and um, uh, Permissions X and stuff like that. Uh, I would love there to be some sort of permission for me to give players to have access to command blocks. Now, I know that generally gives them the power of everything, but, you know, it would be, be different. Anyway, as I was saying, so this one checks for people inside the, uh, inside the building, but more importantly, without the tagged spawn. Uh, then this gives, gives the players on the roof the tagged spawn so they can walk down through here and be fine. Then I also want to do a whole bunch of stuff at the door where we either give the players the tag coming in or take it away from them going out. It's as simple as that, and it has solved the spawn issues. We're going to end up putting that right down at the bottom. I was just about to click the floor, but I am in creative mode, so let's sort that out. Ooh, okay, that was a very quick explanation. We're going to pop this down below, uh, probably in a bedrock box. And then I'm going to talk to you about things out here. I was supposed to grab my chest full of stuff, but let's just go on a little bit of a walk outside. This road here is going to end up being Municipal Way, or at least this side of the road here will be. Uh, all sort of buildings that we need for various reasons. Now, this one here, this is actually Trouble in Terrorist Tower. Yep, you heard me right, Trouble in Terrorist Tower tower we're gonna have a skyscraper here it's gonna um be all sorts of wonderful little buildings to uh to play trouble in terrorist town in uh we're gonna have a vanilla version over this side maybe one where you walk in people get given a map which you then put in your offhand to tell you whether you're traitor or an innocent or something like that i, d I don't know exactly how we do it because i would like to like if you put the bit of paper in your offhand you don't see what it's called the whole time but if you put a map in your offhand you've got that picture up on your screen so I was thinking that, yeah, dispensers and things there. And then maybe another door here for one that works with commands, where you get a little little bit of uh, text pop up on your screen telling you whether you're the traitor or an innocent. Uh, we're going to start just with traitors and innocents. So maybe as the game expands, the command version is going to get more more stuff to it. But, you know, trying to do that sort of stuff in vanilla is uh, it's pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. But the thing that I'm going to be dealing with today is this plot over here. This plot over here is going to have to be sort of council, zoning office, um, a, a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the reason that I want to do that are these plots on the promenade. Yes, indeed. If we come all the way down to this way, you see this plot is this name. Uh, it's a shop or service plot. Please register ownership with a sign and a note to the zoning office. So I need to put a zoning office somewhere. I put down a sign before I even have the building ready to deal with it. But the reason that we have to do it like that is because these plots here are open to anyone to build. Because for some reason, the slash region claim doesn't work how you want it to work. You can't claim buildings, uh, regions that are already set, which... It just doesn't seem like the way a claim should work. Yeah, anyway, anyway. So that's what I'm going to be getting on with today, as well as somehow trying to find somewhere to hide all my stuff. Well, it was a relatively successful stream. We didn't get all of this done into the stream. We may maybe got up to about here, but we finished off the uh, outlining during the night, and then the next day I came through and did all the glass. It looks gorgeous. We need to try and figure out what goes in sort of like this welcome area down here. I'm even tempted to put two little shop fronts in and then just have the uh, the welcome area at the 
back, if you will, reception with you see these holes here and those holes over there, water columns going upwards. I think I think that will work out well. We'll take like the top three section for the evil council. Talking of the top section, I want to show you guys what it looks like up there. Now, there's a quick shortcut for going up here uh, because... <laughs> Because Minecraft deals in squares, and this thing, uh, this this has cut corners. So if you jump on top of that, you're going to get teleported to the top, as if you had not walked in through the door and got the tag. But I wanted to show you this sort of the height that it, it, it um, evokes here. It's pretty nice. It's wonderful. I, I like it. But I'm kind of done with that for the moment. Yeah, we'll get round to the insides. That is definitely a thing that, that will happen very, 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 very soon because we we actually need the things that are in there. But oh, you might remember me saying something about how I need a place to live. Because as you can see from my hopper, I have got an unenchanted pick. I'm down to my last four carrots. Oh yeah, I, I desperately need to go and find somewhere to call a space of my own. Just just to put basically an XP grinder, an enchantment table, and uh, some other things like that, a bed next to each other, and then just be like, right, this is my spot. I need the XP grinder and the enchantment table next to each other, and for, as you can't guess, the... Uh, the, the enchantments and like being able to fix stuff and things like that. So I'm going to go off on a little explore. I believe all my real life friends are off doing things elsewhere. I wonder whose portal that is. I've not been into that one before. But I'm going to go visit the clan of Zedtech. I don't think they're online right now. No, they're not. But they have said many times, or at least Zedtech has said many times, that I'm welcome to help myself to the farm. Um, I believe I actually have Ash to thank for that. He's the one who put it all together credit where credit's due and all of that i couldn't get running there for some reason i am not sure why yeah i'm just gonna quickly like slap these in my offhand and then just kind of walk down here i'm actually fairly sure they want me to take from the uh from the chests over there but this this is this is going to be no impact these will have grown by the time they get back i like this area i'm gonna have it not only does it have this beautiful mountain and this wide open plains to live in but over this way we've got a swamp that is so large i've not had a proper explore but it's so large that i almost feel like it has to contain a witch hut somewhere if not it won't be sad we'll turn it into like a uh, moon powered slime farm or something like that that's the thing you can do because slime spawn on the surface of swamp biomes on the appropriate phase of the moon i can't remember whether it's full moon or new moon where you have maximum slimes, but on the other one, you have no slimes at all. This little build here, I know, it's terrible. Uh, so much so that I've gone for the alliteration, Twitchy's Terrible Temporary TP. But I brought you guys in for a monumental moment. We come in here and we take the first iron from my new lands. Oh yeah, here we go. This means it is mine, right? That's... That's how that works. I did have a good look around to see if I can find anybody's place uh, that is living there. There is a line of torches going through, but it appears to just be like a highway or something like that. And I think I know who actually placed it as well. The iron came from this hole down here. Uh, nothing really too exciting to talk about. It's literally just a hole. Oh, hello, piggy. Oh, it's because I've got carrots in my hand. All right, you're coming with me. Let's go. Uh, over here, got some trees to dig down. Uh, dig down? Yeah, of course. Why not? Uh, the first thing that all of this iron is going on is a is an axe. I need an axe. I need to get going. I, I really do. I really, really do. Oh, and whilst I'm chopping wood, let's quickly make a set of these. Hey, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oh, it looks cold, doesn't it? Oh, and you've got some friends. Oh, there we go. Right, I've got I've got a bed now. Beautiful. Two beds, in fact slap the bed down there and i think this is a cozy little hovel to have as my own uh something that forest went ahead and donated to me if i pop that down there i can get my ender chest on the go at the moment completely empty because it's the first one i've had but i do have a silk touch pick back at spawn so that's going to be pretty good to use right well i suppose the only thing i've got to do now is go around and get all the materials for making a big old build here and uh, well, basically just setting myself up. I'm going to go explore around underground, see if I can't find a spawner somewhere. Or like a, a skeleton spawn box would be ideal, but I'll take cave spiders or zombies or whatever. I think I prefer the zombies over the cave spiders, but maybe I can find three or four cave spiders in a small area and make a multi-spawner. Hmm, I'll bring you back when I know exactly what resources this brave new world contains. First off, I apologise for the rain. It's been going on for a little while now. I've been waiting for it to stop. That has not happened. 
So I've been settling in quite well over here. I've been going down. I've been doing a fair bit of mining. I've got like all these goodies. Not quite as nice as I would like. I've got myself, uh, myself a few diamonds. But this was only one node of four. Uh, Forrest very nicely donated his cast off pick to me. Uh, that was a beautiful. I also found a couple of name tags and a book in the uh, minecarts. So that's pretty cool. Been doing uh, pretty well around here. There, uh, that post no over, the post over here somewhere that i have since cleared out there was a cave system i've cleared it all out uh i've lit it lit it all up lit in it yeah perfect brilliant but we updated to minecraft 14.1 today if you have a look in the top top left over there uh we are doing that uh and it turns out in minecraft 1.14 there was a problem that actually reduced the spawn rate somewhat uh and now that we are on 1.14.1 uh, and there's only two people online. It has totally caught both me and Minute completely off guard. Uh, like the, I know that this is a thing. Minute is a new player, and he oh, let's not go around that way. And it, he doesn't know the full glory of what actual hard mode is all about. Um, but yeah, so I've had to go around and do some actual torching because, of course, before the update, I was going around doing a whole bunch of caving. Which a few of you that... Oh, I'm going to do it again. No, I'm good. Which a few of you that know caving will probably be like, hey, Twitchy, that, that small box of stuff, like that's all completely lit up now and around this way. That small box of stuff doesn't really um, show all the caving that you have done. Because I've got to be honest, it, it does not show... Uh, this This is a consistent bug. Every time I come around here, I think it's that, that column of... Um, cobblestone there um but yeah look i mean like look at all this Where, where's all the iron that i should have mined i mean there i suppose it's up there but uh no as i say the mob spawning it caught me off guard unfortunately i didn't have it recorded but i got double creepered or what i call double creepered and one creeper came up and got me which incidentally i had thrown water on the floor he should not have been able to blow me up but uh, whatever i'm i'm over that honestly you can tell by my tone of voice um yeah one, one of them blew up and then another one blew up like in the same, t well, not even in the same tick, just a little bit afterwards. Um, he was primed to go, and then boom, he went, and yeah, it, it was a I stole my stuff moment again. It happens quite often, unfortunately. It does happen quite often. But I also, unfortunately, during that time, lost where a spider spawner was that I lit up. I was like, great, uh, it's not, it's not ideal. It's, it's not perfect. But I will take it. Look, I still haven't let up everywhere. It's just there's just so much stuff down here. So much stuff. Um, was it this way? I don't know. Follow follow the cobwebs. Who knows? Who knows? Unfortunately, yeah, it, it's gone. I blow. I, I got blown up. I didn't take down the coordinates. I was like, oh, it's just there. I'll come back and get a screenshot of the coordinates in a bit. Um, it's not behind any of the cobble pieces. Cobble pieces mean that I have gone down. I mean, like. Do I have a pickaxe on me? I do. Let's just open it up. It's generally just dead end zones like this. Uh, this one might actually go a little bit further. I wanted to dig through and see if we go anywhere. Normally, I've also taken out all the resources from behind the wall. And the fact that this coal is here kind of embarrasses me a little bit. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, that's why I sealed it up is because it's leaked into somewhere else. And I like to try and keep my branches. Do, do you mind? Do you mind? I want that gold helmet. Go away. Thank you. Um... And I like to keep my branches tidy, so things that uh, empty out into places like this, keep it keep it sealed up for now. It, it will come in somewhere else. I don't have any more cobble. Um, and then you, so yeah, and then and then you just kind of go around and make sure that all the branches are accounted for, and then you know you've done all the all the lighting up that is connected to that one particular hole. And then you have to go digging through another space, right? But there's one of them, but that's that's not the one. Now, did, is that the one that I actually let up? No, it's not the one. The other side is not lit. Uh, I need to put a block down there. It's going to be a problem. Okay, it's now close enough. I should go through, put some holes in. Spider. Ah, I couldn't get through. Couldn't get through in time. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that that's my update. Uh, I, I I know I kind of rambled a bit at the end there, but you know I've I've had a, a nice adventure, and I wanted to let you guys know exactly what's been going on. Uh, but it's it's slow, not really great video stuff. I've just been going around, kind of kitting up looking for things to turn into XP sources, which so far, that box over there seems to be the best. But there was definitely another one that I've, I've lit up much better. 
So I've come home to offload and gear up. I've got to do two things here. I have been digging away uh, around the spawner. Oh, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I don't, I don't actually want to carry all of that. Let's just quickly throw these in here and also this in there. I want to... Um, a little shy about carrying all my stuff around with me now. I kind of want to get rid of everything, but I need to take this with me. It's time to go and do some stuff. Let's also actually grab another one of those because I have run out. As you may have guessed by the grabbing of the fortune pick, I have found some diamonds whilst digging out the whole area. It was quite nice. I made a little like, ooh, noise. <laughs> it, was, it was good. But the, I then dug upwards. I was like, all right, great. I'm going to need that fortune pick. Also, where am I? So I dug up and uh, had a look. I'm a little further out than I thought I was. As you can tell by the way that I'm running up and past this mountain. Now this mountain comes with its own little set of terrors. For up this way there is an entire pillager patrol. Now I'm not that bothered because I don't want to go that way. I want to go around here. And we're going to dig down... There it is. That's that's my hole. We're going to dig down here. Don't worry. I know it's safe because I came up this way. All right. So that's a nice long shaft all the way down here. There was a little bit more digging than I previously thought I would need to do here. Uh, Got to be honest, dealing with cave spiders, not my favorite source of XP, but we're going to gonna live with it. Over here, I've managed to uh, work it out so that we've got a block light of 8. Oh, that skylight of 10. If I put this up there, hang about, let's let's figure out this. We'll put that there and we'll put that there. Does that now reduce the block light down at all? Skylight five. Okay, cool. So we're back on to block light of eight. That's nice, but I was gonna use my water to get back up there. So we'll have to think about that. But down here, here they are. Look at them all. It's actually a bigger group of diamonds than I thought it was. Let's get the store the uh, fortune pick out. What's the chances of there being iron uh not iron lava around? Uh, let's put these on here as well. Oh man! Oh, look at look at this node. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. Unfortunately, I've only got the fortune one. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but out of that, what, how many? How many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, maybe six. Maybe six. We got nine diamonds. Beautiful. So my plan is, if it actually goes to plan, to uh, wash the spiders forwards into this stair down here. I'm hoping that they can't actually climb up that, but I don't know. We might need to do a little bit of tweaking about that. And then they get washed down here. I, cave spiders, they're weird. I've got a feeling we're gonna end up with them trying to climb up there. Perhaps we need to put a stair there to stop that. I don't have any stairs on me. Oh, and I don't have my stone cutter either. Okay, so let's just make a normal stair. Ooh, yeah, let's convert that to a diamond block. Thank you very much. So when I lose it, I can lose it all in one go. All right, the cobblestone just like that. Come on, I want to come over here. Uh, and the next thing I need to work on is how we store the cave spiders. I believe... I should be able to do something... Oh, no, this isn't going to work because I want to put it that way round. Let's dig down and under. Now, this is... Nice, I'll take it, I'll take it. Now, this is just for my access, not for the spiders. Don't don't be uh, fooled into thinking this is going to stay here. That's a lot of lot of gold there. Oh, um, problems. Ah. All right, oh my God, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just going to catch my breath. All right, cool. Now that we're good, I'm going to go back down here, get this gold. Uh, so I seem to keep losing all my gold in the form of clocks. Uh, I like to have a clock on me because, you know, what what time is it right now? Uh, am I able to go up to the surface? I don't know. So that's why I like to have a, a clock on me. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I'm just kind of losing everything because of that. So that then goes like this. All right, beautiful. Uh, I've got a feeling that's actually rubbish and isn't going to do any good for anybody. Oh, dark space with a creeper. He's not noticed me yet. Let's use that as an opportunity to get up and run over this way so we don't have to fight him near all the stuff we've just fought. Uh, so I was trying to ho hook out a little bit of space. He's not going to get far enough away from me like that. Move away. Uh, I was opening up a space to have a killing chain. What was that? Did you guys see that? I like swung at him a couple of times and it didn't didn't register. I suppose that's all right. Give me that fortune. Mm hmm. Yeah, I need more. No, oh, it wasn't much re more redstone. Um, yeah, because I want to uh, make a new killing area. I'm not sure if the area that we've got is going to be any good. I need to come through here and explore this area properly. Oh, it was lava. I saw. I thought I saw the top of a chest. I was like, ooh, minecart chest, but no. But no. All right, looking around here, looks like I've made the area a little bit more secure. So what I was thinking of doing was coming in here and starting to knock a few of these torches out. It's probably going to be very, very scary once I've done so. 
Uh, am I about to die to poison? Probably. You guys are here to watch it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I do. Okay, that's everything that I want out of the way. I've got a feeling if he's trying to pathfind to me, that's going to be terrible. And also, that gap I put in the roof, that's probably equally as bad. Uh, but let's see. Uh, have they been filtered down here? Not yet. All right, let's give it. Let's give them a little bit more time. There might be a way to do what I'm trying to do. Uh, really, I want to put a slab there. All right, let's let's do that. Like that. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go back down. Let's see. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh no, they can come through. All right, I was worried about that. Okay, how do we? Oh, was that my axe? No, that was my helmet. Uh, right, I want to kill these guys quick. I don't want to... Oh, oh, all right. Run away. Uh, the reason I'm running away is not just because I want to, like, stop fighting them. Um, it's also I want to let them despawn because, obviously, after a certain distance... Oh, man, this guy's, like, legit following me. Oh, of course he can go under. That was that was silly. I knew that already. I knew that already. Okay, so if they can get through a half slab space, I need to stop that one there. I also now need to do that and that and think about how we're going to do this again. Whew. All right, so uh, top tip to anybody that doesn't know, if things are overwhelming you, just run away and let things despawn. And then you can come back and think about it in a more calm manner when everything's disappeared. Um, I, I highly recommend thinking about it whilst you're away. So you see how I just came in and was like, yep, yeah, we need blocks here, here, and here. Um... Okay, so I think what we actually need to do, like this one's cool to to leave. Look, we can we can get them now. We can get them. All right, that that's cool. That's cool. What's not so cool is how exposed I am over here and how rough this place is. Oh, I've been using cobblestone everywhere. Hmm, hmm he's gone like proper under. But I should now. Oh, oh are you kidding me? Is, is it if I can hit you, you can hit me scenario? That's that's not amazing. To be fair, that is not amazing. Okay, so my next question, and this is going to kill me, uh, is can I put that in there? Okay, does that form some sort of step up and barrier? Okay, hopefully this is acceptable. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Not the best source of XP, as I have said. And also, I'm going to turn down my mob settings, uh, mob noises, and I will see you guys when I've... Uh, Ground up a little bit of stuff. Where is it? There it is. Ground up a little bit of XP. Got some things. Made myself a little enchantment area. Yeah, it's, it's going to become a good life from now on. One little final fix. They can't get at me through there. Okay, so I've kind of tidied up the area a little bit. Put some nice clean decoration up. I'm not overly certain about the floor. Diorite's one of these love it or hate it blocks. And I'm not sure about this little inlay here either. But I needed to do something to make it not just a massive line of red concrete. But the red concrete is the danger zone. If you so much as jump up and graze the front with your feet hitbox, you will get hit by these guys. There's no uh, softener in there at the moment. But the main reason for that is... Because if we come outside this door, I've got a little sign here. Another one, go up and forward. I'm like, okay, let's go through this way. That that was me leaving the sign, by the way. We've got another one right there. Now, I'm not 100% certain if there is a point in between where we can stand and keep them all uh, both working. Uh, but I've got a feeling there will be... Oh, uh, yeah, they kind of get a little bit stuck up there. It's not an ideal design. Uh, I was talking to Mad Frank about it. He was like, why don't you just take them up? They want to go up. I was like, you know what? Up seems like a good idea. But coming back to spawn, I have one more thing to show you. Oh, I might need to show you this as well. we got a, uh, a food area. I don't know who keeps closing these. Uh, keep, I keep opening them. Uh, we've got now a food uh, food depository area uh, the word i'm looking for donation area that's the word i'm looking for for new players to come in and pick up food and for old players to come along and donate stuff so it's looking pretty good pretty suave pretty slick i'm liking the look of it but the thing that i want to show you is that last stream cubic and brum came and helped me with the design on the bottom floor over there I've got to say, they've absolutely knocked out of the park. I segregated these areas out. We've got uh, a little lost and found office that's going to be run by Wise here because he seems to be the guy that keeps running in. He seems to have a little bit of a coffee obsession, though. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with this area over here. It kind of needs to be like a, a public-facing... Uh, official thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what needs to be there. But in here, you can see everything's not quite completed because we're not sure what's going in the plots 
either way around us but mostly for the most part downstairs has been finished we've got a lovely a little stairway up here we've got a little reception desk i mean this is the most swanky city hall i have ever seen uh, and it is feeling a pretty nice but with that i will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time we're going to get back to my base and make some basic uh, automatic farms i need some like crops i need some animals i need sugar green dye a whole bunch of stuff that we can just automate over there but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye